Hello and welcome to Plevin in Bulgaria for the FIM Supermoto of Nations, the final race of the Supermoto season. The individual world and European titles have already been decided, but this is for national pride as the best nations go head to head once more to be crowned world champions. The host nation have never won this event, placing third in 2008 and second in 2009. And this year they have S1 world champion Manu Hermanen racing for them. So could this be the year Bulgaria comes away with the trophy? Welcome in Pleven, Bulgaria for the 8th edition of the FIM Supermoto Nation. The last unique event of the season where three top riders compete for this donation to God the Zerbis Trophy. 20 teams will line up this weekend to be the defending nation team Italy in this demanding and totally asphalt track. So, let's get started. I ride for Bulgaria team. I hope to be here on my home track, so wish you good luck everybody. My name is Tamo Ticelli, it's the second time here with the Thailand team. I'm really happy to be here again and I will do my best. I'm Ben Timo, I'm riding for the German team. I make a comeback after three years, stop with Supermoto here in Pleven and yeah, help to make good results. Well, it's a short start straight here at Pleven, about 60 metres, leading into a fairly open right-hand turn. Exit the first turn in second gear, quick change to third, then fourth before hitting the brakes for turn two, which is a pretty tight left-hander. Don't be surprised if you see a little bit of carnage going on through there. A little bit downhill this side of the track as well, as we drop down into turn three, equally tight. And then switching across from Left to right, gets in the kerb as we head up here into this left-hander. And the nature of the circuit on the old airfield. Very twisty, but they make good use of the space around here at Pleven. Hard on the brakes, as you can see. And these guys giving us plenty of opportunity to see where and possibly how riders could pass. You run on very easily to leave the door wide open and get past and murked up the inside. Working our way round to the main grandstand area, into the tight right, and then we're into the sky zone, which is where the jumps are. Over the first crest, into the tight left, out of there, back over the hump in the opposite direction, through what is a pretty quick right hand up, over a roller, and then over another single, into the sweeping right, over the first plateau jump, over another single, and then you can either go to the inside or rail the bowl. Either way, you have four waves into a tabletop. And if you're wondering where the dirt is, if you've never seen this Pleven racetrack before, it's all asphalt, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. Exit the penultimate turn over the tabletop, that brings us to the final corner, the left-hander, and it's uh, a long drag back down to the start-finish straight. That's the lap of Pleven. Qualifying race, Manu Hermanen came from third to take the win from Ivan Lazzarini. Thomas Scherer of France was third, Bernheimer of Germany was fourth. In the second qualifying race, a bit more eventful, it was Christian Revaglia who suffered a bike problem whilst in second position, eventually being classified as 17th. And the win went to Pavel Kamar of the Czech Republic, with Devon Vermeulen second, Akta Nurkan was third, while Alexander Georgiev came from 10th to 4th. And in the final qualifying race, it was a win for Anjel Karengitov of Bulgaria, Sylvain Badar of France was second, Monticelli of Italy was third, and Meyer of Austria was fourth. <laughs> Good, you always feel good in the first race, so what do you expect for tomorrow? 
Yeah, I've been very lucky on this track. I won it every time I've been here before and had a good uh, qualifying race. Won it also, and uh, we, have very, we have a very strong team, and uh, I hope we will win tomorrow. The FIM Supermoto of Nation, for me it's an honor to, uh, to ride for his country and after to come here in Bulgaria, it's a really nice track, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to come here. We have number one, two and three, so we have to defend the title. I did a good job in the first race, finished second, Ravaglia now is also second, so uh, we, are, we wait uh, Monticelli for the third race and uh, we hope we can get uh, a first place for tomorrow. Daniela, last season your team was fourth, but uh, now your rider had a crash. So I hope we will better for tomorrow and we hope to go on the podium or that nearly the podium. So I hope the top five is, uh, is okay for the driver. She said, uh, he said me, and you're still with her. she said, uh, in the Betty. Bulgaria will start from pole position with France, Italy, and Czech Republic rounding out the front row. Second row is Finland, Germany, Austria, and Great Britain. Row three, the Netherlands, Turkey, Austria, Junior, Sweden, Junior, and row four, the Czech Republic, Junior, Luxembourg, and Estonia. A good crowd here this weekend, once again at Pleven, Bulgaria. Lights go out now, and it's Thomas Scherer from the middle who grabs the whole shot. But down the inside, number eight, Pavel Kamar. Well, I thought it was going to be close. He absolutely sideswipes Thomas Scherer out of the race. And even Lazzarini, who we're on board with, obviously got caught out in that as well, as Thomas Scherer of France remounts and in last position. But it's Davy Todd, number 16 of Great Britain, who leads away. Devon Vermeulen of the Netherlands second, Kmar of the Czech Republic third, Hema of Germany fourth, Rudy Bauer of Austria. He's in fifth place. Back with Todd Davy, though. And Kmar, Bern Hema and Vermeulen all knocking on the rear wheel of the young Brit. Out of the final turn, Davy. Still leads, Kmar in second, Hema in third, Vermeulen still fourth. As they embark on the second lap, oh, there's uh, Christian Revaglia finding a way past Lucas Holbacker. So that's for sixth position as Warren Bugard, the French rider, well placed as well, the leading French rider at the moment. On board with Lazzarini, he's down in 19th place at the moment. Chasing Asiri Kingalit, so uh, not a good start for the defending champions, there he is in the red helmet, Team Italy, Ivan Lazzarini. He's been on three winning teams with Team Italy in the past. Back with our race leader, though, Pavel Kmart. Number eight, Bern Hema, who's been out of action for the last three years, decided to take a bit of a sabbatical. He's back here riding for Germany this weekend and pushing all the way through. He now leads, but Kmart looking to have a... Well, he has a cheeky look at Bern Hema as he goes over the tabletop. Is he going to find a way through before the final turn? Whoa, bar to bar action. And Kmart puts the squeeze going through the final turn and leads again immediately. A little bit further down. Fight for 22nd position. French pals of Estonia, Warren Bugar of France. So that's why we're following that little battle as we go on board with Warren Bugar. Struggling, he did make a good start, but he's obviously had an off somewhere. Back with Rivagli though. He's now in third. Devon Vermeulen of the Netherlands is in fourth place. The 67, Manu Hermanen of Bulgaria. Just behind him in fifth. Holbacker off the back there as well. Lucas Holbacker of Austria. 
the number 11 in sixth place. Having a good ride. Austria well placed at the moment. But this is a great battle for third position. Manu Hermanen finding a way through now into third. Ravaglia now fourth for Italy. So we still got a ways to go. Pavel Kmar though. And Bern Hemer. Absolutely nothing in it between those two. Down the start, finish straight. There's Kmart and Hemer. So they've got a distance between themselves and Manu Hermanen coming towards us now. The 67 in third. Ravaglia for Italy is still in fourth place. Looked like uh, Vermeulen and Thomas Scherer just behind. And there they are, Vermeulen in the orange. Thomas Scherer, after picking himself up off the deck, now goes through into fifth place. So he's now going after Christian Ravaglia. So a great ride from the Frenchman, former world champion. And you can see how much he's closing in on Ravaglia as well. And he's bringing Vermeulen and the rest of the guys with him. As we go back to Warren Bugart. Still there in 18th. Teammate to Thomas Scherer, who's currently in fifth place. Battle for fourth. Oh, and he goes too tight. There's Ravaglia. And round the outside and passing a back marker in the process. Thomas Scherer. So Scherer now. He is in fourth place. So about four laps to go. Final lap, though. Pavel Kmart, Bern Hema, nothing in it between those two. And the flag goes out. It's going to be a win for Kmart. Hema second. And Manu Hermann will take third. Official confirmation of race one, then, which featured riders one and two from the teams. Kmart, Hema, Hermann, Scherer, Ravaglia fifth, Vermeulen, Holbacher, Trebnicek, Lazzarini, and Rudy Bauer, your top ten. And in terms of the overall nation's classification after race one, the Czech Republic lead on nine, Italy on 14, Austria 17, Bulgaria 18, and France are on 21. But there's still a long, long way to go in this competition. into this second race then. Czech Republic are in the driving seat with a comfortable five-point advantage over the defending champions Italy. A surprise result though, probably Austria in third. One point clear of Bulgaria who have Angel Karanyatov out in this race and he knows how to get around this place so the home crowd will be looking for a win from him in race two. Glorious weekend here in Bulgaria. Lights go out for race two. Where's Angel Karangitov? Well, he'll be coming in from the right-hand side, and he swoops across the rest of the field and easily into the lead. I think that's Warren Bugar of France, number five in second place. Alexander George up the inside. Oh, he gets a bit into a bit of a mess, and he goes down. So we've got a Bulgarian leading, and his teammate is on the deck at the back at turn two. So he pays the price and crashes out as we go back on board with Patrick Pals of Estonia, and he's buried way down the order as well. There's your leader, Angel Karenyatov of Bulgaria on a Honda. He absolutely knows his place inside out. And already you can see the lead that he's opening up. Oh, a little bit of work going on on the track, possibly from George F going down. Here's about a second though. Christian Rivaglia, number two. Lucas Holbacher uh, of Austria. He's in third place. Pavel Kmar just off the back. So Kmar has gone from second to fourth here in the space of a lap. Good ride, though, from Christian Rivaglia. Had bike problems in qualifying whilst in second place, so he's probably got his fingers crossed that everything holds together today. And look at how close it is. Battle for second position we're looking at here. Rivaglia, hold back at Kmar. A little bit further back, though. We've got Bugar there in 16th. Atanurkan, the Turkish rider. He is just behind him in 17th place. So Bukar not having a great nations here, it has to be said. As we look at Jan Dietenbach of Germany, number 66, and Teo Monticelli both battling over 10th and 11th place as George F looking to find his way through as well. Need to find a way through the final turn. I don't think he's going to go through there. So back up front, though, his teammate Karanyatov making it oh so easy. Absolutely hitting everything on point. 
crowd loving his antics here this weekend. Super fast as we go back to Bugar. Of course, France are favourites for this competition. And he's down in 20th place. Remember, you can drop your worst score. So five out of six scores count. And Bugar down in 20th position at the moment. So the French will be hoping to drop that. Here's George F back on board with him, looking for another way through. On board with Patrick Palso. He's in 26 for Estonia. Getting past there as well. So that left-hander. A whole gaggle of riders. There's George F in there, third rider in shot. Just ahead of Pals, I think. So the two onboard cameras line astern. And this is that battle continuing. Tony Clem. Oh, he's got a problem. The Finn, number 20. So he's got bike problems steaming from the side of the machine down in 19th. And he's about to be passed. Well, he has been passed now by Warren Bugard, the French rider, and the two Czech junior riders, Eric Prosnavsik and Eric Zednek Yaros. Uh, still pushing uh, the Finn back a position. Look, he's shaking his head. He knows it's going to come to nothing for him, but battle for eighth place. Manuel Hagleitner of Austria Junior, Stefan Vermeulen and Teo Monticelli. So the Italian down in 10th place at the moment as we go back to Granitov. He continues to lead. And the number 69, Anil Karangatov, looks over his shoulder. Across the front of the main grandstand. A couple more corners to go for him. And the checkered flag, almost a certainty now. Out of the final turn then, Karangatov wins race two for Bulgaria. Rivagli will take second for Italy. Sylvain Bidar will take third for France. So let's have a look at the details then. The results of race two, riders two and three. Karanyatov, Ravaglia, Bidar, Kmar, Holbach a fifth, Salsala of Finland, six, Hans Meyer, Monticelli, Vermeulen, and Hagleitner of Austria down in 10th. And how does that change the nation's classification after two races? Well, we can tell you that Italy moved from second to first, Austria go from third to second. The Czech Republic though dropped from first to third with no change in fourth and fifth. That's still Bulgaria and France. So Team Italy have turned a five-point deficit into a five-point advantage coming into the third and final race, and a fourth Supermoto of Nations title is on the cards. But with Sylvain Bedard and Thomas Scherer in for France this time, and Manu Hermanen and Angel Karanitov for Bulgaria, Italy can't afford any mistakes if they're going to bring it home. Still all to play for here in Pleven. The lights are on, they get ready to go out. Start of race three, and it's a good start for Ivan Lazzarini. Number one, the Italian, the defending champion. He drops into the lead. Granitov behind him in second, Bidar third. Ooh, a bit of a couple of comings together there, coming out of the final turn, or the first turn. But it is Lazzarini, Granitov, Bidar, Travnicek, Hans Meyer, and uh, yeah, the riders down there, Hampus Gustafsson, one of them from Swedish Junior. Davey Todd was in there as well. But Lazzarini, though, trying to pull away. Karenitov second, Bidar third, Travnicek fourth. Chris Hodgson here. He's in fifth place for GB. Around about eighth place was uh, Manu Hermanen, about 12th for 13th. Thomas Charette, as we're on board with Lazzarini. Clear track as the sun's starting to set here in Bulgaria. They see Thomas Charette in around about 12th place. Going after, I think that's uh, Devon Vermeulen, possibly. But back with our leaders. And it's Lazzarini and Karanitov still ruling the roost here. Karanitov, a very difficult rider to beat around here. So Lazzarini of Italy, our current race leader, number one, will have his work cut out. But he can't afford to relax either. A little bit further down the order. Looking at uh, Alex Orikov. And one or two guys down there, but there's Hodgson. So Hodgson's made another mistake. And he's uh, having to work hard to come back through. Battle for 12th place. That's Marcel Van Drun at number 13 of the Netherlands. Oh, passed there by Toprek Razgat Igliogu. I hope I got that right from Turkey. 
Monticelli is in there as well, looking interested. But he is number 19, Kingolin. Monticelli now in 10th place. So Monticelli having to ride pretty hard here in this third and final race as we go back to the leaders, Ivan Lazzarini. Is he opening up a gap? Well, I hardly call it a gap. If anything, the gap is between second and third. So B. Darcel in third. There's Jan Dieten back. He's in 13th place at the moment. Here's the German. So the German who was a winning member here in 2009 for Team Germany. There's his teammate, Bern Hema. So Hema in seventh place. Oh, down the inside. It's Van Drunen. Back with Monticelli. He's in 10th. Will it be enough though? Bulgaria have got two riders in the top four. France have two in the top five. Monticelli needs to keep on pushing. So this really is going right the way down to the wire. As we look at the top three riders of Lazzarini, Karanyatov and Sylvain Bidar. Italy, Bulgaria, France. There's the second of the Bulgarian riders. Number 67, Manu Hermanen. And number four, Thomas Scherer of France. So Lazzarini. Coming up on traffic. Oh, he can't afford to get held up through there. Karanitov closes and closes. There's Scherer. Back marker takes a look behind him. He's in fifth, going after Herman in fourth place. These two running out of time if they want to impact on the overall classification. But you can see how close they're getting to the top three riders. Absolutely nothing in it between these guys. There's Travnicek. He's in sixth place now. So Travnicek having a great ride. Back with Monticelli, though. He's in eighth, looking to pass a Siri Kingolin, number 19 of Finland. That'll put him in seventh. That will give him a vital point because it's absolutely too close to call at the moment as France Pals of Estonia goes out of 22nd. There's Monticelli. He's in seventh now. That might just be enough for Italy, you know. Not going to close down any more riders ahead of him, but... Out of the final turn, it's a win for Ivan Lazzarini. He wins race three, and Italy are champions for the fourth time. Well, Karanitov, he can lay the bike down, salute the crowd. He's had a good day, a win and a second in his two races. Couldn't do any more, really. But Lazzarini wins race three. Karanitov second, Bidar third, Hermann Scherer, your top five, and then Ponticelli got back to seventh which proved to be vital for Team Italy in the end. In terms of your nation's classification, though, how does it look? Well, Italy, our champions again. 23 points for them. Bulgaria on 25. France, 32. Czech Republic, 36. Austria, 38. So what a weekend, what a turnaround for Italy. And here's your podium. Team Italy will take the top step of the podium, Ivan Lazzarini. Christian Rivaglia, Teo Monticelli, and team manager Attilio Pignotti as well. Bulgaria second overall with Granitov, Georgiev, and Manu Hermanen. Third, France for Thomas Scherer, Sylvain Bedard, and Warren Bugart. But Dr. Wolfgang Schrupp, the FIM CMS director presenting the Francesco Zerbi trophy to Attilio Pignotti, the team manager for Italy. He was a winner back in 2008, and he's now a winning team manager once again. Dr. Alessandro Lovati, the FIM delegate, handing out the gold plates to the Italian world champions now. So it's been a great day, and they will enjoy this for, well, let's say, a few nights to come. We are very, very, very happy about this result. Uh, we come here with number one, two and three and we take back the trophy at home. So we did a fantastic job together. We start not so in a, in a good position because I nearly crashed in the first corner, so I need to recover from the back. But in the end, we did everybody a really good job and uh, I'm so proud to be part of this team again. Yeah, we did a great race at the Nations. What matters is the team result. We did our best. We obtained the best results and we got the victory. I'm very happy. It's amazing. It's my second time in the Italian team and we were the, de the defending champions and we had to do our best. It was not easy because the uh, Bulgarian team, it was really fast, but we did it. So, yeah, come on.
So after a dramatic weekend here in Bulgaria, Team Italy win the Supermoto of Nations and the Francesco Zerbi Trophy for a record fourth time. As Ivan Lazzarini just stated, it was a tough start, but he and his teammates Christian Ravaglia and Teo Monticelli pulled together as a team. They held their nerve and have been rewarded once again. Team Italy, World Champions 2013. And with the Alpha Young Supermoto Nation and this fantastic season. Thanks to Superout and see you next time.